Sometimes a backside wrap means that the handler has to work close to her dog and to the jump that's going to be wrapped. But lots of times courses are set so that the dog's natural path will carry him to the backside as long as we don't do anything to pull him off of that path. So I thought I'd put together a video showing the steps that I use to train my dogs for this. I begin by standing right in front of the wing and sending my dog around. Notice I step in the direction or my weight shifts in the direction that I want Belle to go. Second step, I move toward the middle of the jump and send my dog out around the wing. Now I've moved back from the wing, but I'm in line with it and I'm using this to increase the distance from the jump. Step four, I've now in the middle of the jump but further back. And my motion supports my dog till she's committed to going around the back side. Now for step five, I think for a novice dog it would be better to use a tunnel to avoid the extra lead change. I used a pylon and I'm introducing speed to the whole uh, idea of wrapping the wing from the, to the back side. Try and get a nice tight wrap around that pylon. Step out in the direction I want Belle to go. She's committed. Now even further back with the pylon. I take as many steps as I need to to commit with a uh, more novice dog, it's going to take more steps. And eventually you don't have to get that close to the jump at all. That was about 14, 15 feet. And even Belle, who doesn't drive as well as Willie, understands being sent to the back side from that distance. So good luck. Have fun.